hit the like and subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update and new videos from Traffic Creation. Hello guys and welcome to Traffic Creation. Today I'm going to tell you how to promote your videos through Google AdWords. Traffic Creation started using Google Ads recently and found it quite interesting as well as very helping in promoting videos and even to some extent the channel also. Now before going any further, here are today's video's shoutouts. If you want to be a part of these shoutouts, like, subscribe and comment what you really like the most on my recent video and stay active on the channel. Let me start by showing you Traffic Creation Live Analytics report by Google AdWords. Here you can see that the video that was put up for running Google Ads gave around uh, average CPV of 0.02 and a views around 4.07k. So as you can see this equals to around getting 1000 views in rupees 20 which according to me is quite a nice deal for new YouTube creators like us. Google AdWords has not only helped us gain views but also the target audience for our channel. So here is how you can also gain more views by running Google Ads on your videos. Type ads.google.com and sign into your Google AdWords account. Google AdWords is currently running an offer in which they are giving 2000 rupees credit after you spend 2000 rupees on your ads. So as you are on the home page of your Google AdWords account, let's start by making a new campaign. So here it will ask you to select the goal that would make this campaign successful. You can create a campaign by going manually through a step by step process. Then we have to select a campaign type. So we will be going with the video since we have to create a video ad here. Next is select a camp subtype. So we will be going with the custom video campaign and let's click continue. So here we are my friends, this is the way by which uh, you can set manually according to your requirement and your budget. So keep watching, there is much more here. Let's start with setting a campaign name, it's just for your referral only so that later you can recognize the campaign. Next is bidding strategy, here you need to decide how you want to pay for the ad. Pay per view where you will only pay when viewers will watch your videos or pay by per impression. When the video makes an impression irrespective of whether the viewer watches your video or not. Traffic creation would recommend you to go for pay by per view that is maximum CPV. Next is budget and dates. Here you can set your budget to daily where you can specify a amount for the whole day or a campaign total where you can directly set the total budget for a time period. But it's better to go with a daily budget and see the progress of your ad on a daily basis. And let's set it to 100. Now coming on to network, you need to untick video partners on the display network because we want our ads only to appear on YouTube and for YouTube audience only. Next is location. So here you can target by country wise or city wise or even by targeting a specific location. Now there are some countries like Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh where you can get cheap and economical price for your ads. So here we are going with India. Next is language. So depending upon the language that has been used in your video, you can either select that particular language or you can target other language if you want. Now next is inventory type. So here you have to select on the expanded inventory. If you want further information, you can read the information given in each block. Then coming on the excluded types and labels, here you need to check mark embedded YouTube videos and live streaming videos. So embedded YouTube videos, as it says here, it prevents your ads from showing on YouTube videos embedded on websites outside of youtube.com. So that's very helpful for us. And you need to untick content not yet leveled. This says that this setting excludes videos that don't have a content level because they haven't yet completed the classification process. Then we don't have to do anything on conversions and we directly go in for devices. So let's target a specific device here. And as you can see, computers, mobile phones, tablets, TV screen. Since most of the YouTube viewers use mobile phones to watch videos, so we are going with only mobile phones and we are going to untick computers, tablets and TV screen. This will maximize your audience reach resulting in more views with less money. Next is frequency capping. Now what is frequency capping? This means how many times do you want your ad to be shown to a viewer? 
so obviously we don't want our ads to be shown repetitively to a single viewer so here we are going to limit that so let's go in with one here and uh, here you can see it is per day per week or per month so we would recommend to go in for per month next is ad schedule this is all fine we want it all day for our ad to be shown to our viewers coming on to the demographic section here so as you can see you can target your audience by their gender or age or parental status or even with the household income so this highly depends upon the content that you are showing in your video and you can choose accordingly next is audience so here you can select what audience you want to target based on their interest or even based on their profession so here you can see so many options banking beauty food home and many more this also depends upon the content that you are showing in your video and you can target your audience accordingly next are keywords topics and placements and we don't want to make any changes in them coming on to bidding section now here this is the main part of your campaign you need to decide how much do you want to pay for one view now you would ask how would I know which is the best bidding for my ads? Any new user should neither go too low or too high. Start with 0 0.10 rupee. That means you are telling Google that you will pay 0 0.10 paisa for one view on your ad. Now here also you need to be very alert. If you are not getting views, that means you might have to increase the bid value. And if you are getting many views, then you better decrease its bidding value. By using the correct bid value for your ads on a daily basis, you might save a lot of money. So next is create your video ad. So here you need to paste a URL of your YouTube video. So let's take our first video link here and let's just paste it right over here. So as you can see now, it's giving you a video ad format, skippable in-stream ad. Now these are those ads uh, which are shown before your video starts and then gives a skip ad option to the viewer. But these ads are very expensive and we are certainly here to get more views by using a minimum budget. So we will be going with video discovery ad. So as you can see here and even here it is written that these ads can appear on YouTube search result next to the related videos or on the YouTube homepage. Now let's just add the headings and the description. Now keep in mind that you cannot have a brand name, a company name, any special characters, all capital letters or any emojis either in headlines or in the description. Now your ad campaign is almost ready. As you can see here, your ad will appear this way. And here you can see a weekly estimate here, the available impressions and the estimated performance of the ad. But let me tell you here that these are all the estimated figures and they constantly fluctuate on a daily basis. Now we are ready with the campaign and we can click create campaign. Now your campaign will go for review for approval, which might take some time, even one day. After your campaign gets a green signal of approval, your campaign will start running your ad. Now you need to keep a check whether you are getting views or not and increase or decrease the bid value accordingly. Hope you can now promote your videos using Google AdWord and grow your channel fast. If you have any query, do write in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here.